Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bazile, and I wanted to talk about something that recently happened with the game Ukulele. And there's been a lot of controversy around it just in the last few hours. Well, the last 24 hours, really. And I, I guess I wanted to kind of give my opinions on it because I've been such a strong supporter of the game, the company, and basically everyone involved. And yeah, so let's jump right into it. Initially, my reactions to this were a little bit of anger and a little bit of just kind of personal hurt because I do enjoy John Tron's content. I don't necessarily agree with uh, some of the statements that he's made in the past, but that's here nor there. Um, I want to kind of focus on the ukulele devs and their reasoning behind removing John Tron's voiceover work. And I have their statement here. Uh, this, was, this is from Kotaku, and it reads as follows. John Tron is a talented video presenter who we were initially two years ago happy to include as a voice contributor in our game. However, in light of his recent personal viewpoints, we have made the decision to remove John Tron's inclusion in the game via a forthcoming content update. We would like to make it absolutely clear that we do not endorse or support John Tron's personal viewpoints and that as an external fan contributor, he does not represent Platonic in any capacity. Platonic is a studio that celebrates diversity in all forms and strives to make games that everyone can enjoy. As such, we deeply regret any implied association that could make players feel anything but 100% comfortable with our game worlds or distract from the incredible goodwill and love shown by our fans and Kickstarter backers. Starting off, as a company, as a business, of course, they have every right to remove content for whatever deemed necessary reason they see fit. Uh, his hair was too green, he, you know, he, he looked at me funny, that kind of stuff. That is their right to remove things from their game. As developers, you have that right. Completely understand, completely okay with. So my main issue with this is the sentence that they said that we absolutely we would absolutely like to make it clear that we do not endorse or support John Tron's personal viewpoints. Okay, great. That honestly doesn't mean that you had to remove his voiceover from the game. That's like telling Total Biscuit, well, we don't want to use your voiceover because you told someone to get cancer five years ago. In the grand scheme of things, does it matter what this person says on their, their personal Twitter, their personal YouTube channel? As long as they don't include, like, I love ukulele. Yay, white supremacy. Like, he didn't do that. So I, I almost feel like they were afraid of backlash that really wasn't there. The backlash was all directed towards JonTron and nowhere near to ukulele from any research that I've found. Do I think this decision by the ukulele devs was the wrong decision? Yes, I very much do. I'm very disappointed that they kind of cave to political or political correctness kind of pressure. But at the same time, I completely understand and I completely support their decision from a developer and business standpoint. I will still be buying this game. I will still be supporting the heck out of this game. In fact, I plan to stream it and do a bunch of YouTube content on this game. I've been waiting for this, like all of us have, for many, many years. And I'm just so excited to have a chance to play a, another Banjo-Kazooie-like game that is is honestly... Banjo-Kazooie, near and dear to my heart. Probably one of the best 64 games to ever come out. Um, one of the best video games in, in the gaming industry, in, in my personal opinion. There's a lot of games that can go up for that. That's all personal opinion, blah, blah, blah. But that's kind of my viewpoint. Um, I, I definitely think that there is going to be a lot more possible... Uh, discussion surrounding this topic. Uh, I'm actually really curious to hear if John Tron does respond or even make a video about it. I definitely like to hear his thoughts and opinions. And um, that that's kind of my take and my stance on it. Um, I'm very disappointed, but at the same time, I'm going to still support the developers. I'm going to still support John Tron and his content making, even though I may not agree with both of them at certain times. So that's it for me, guys. Have a wonderful afternoon, morning, and our evening, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Oh, baby, I love you.